Jermaine. Well, go on. I'm Joel. And we are with We Tell Our Clothing. Yeah. Today we wanted to do a difference in where we're from. I'm from a place called Charleston, South Carolina, and we speak this language called Geechee Gullah. And it's derived from uh, West African countries when they came here. And um, it's a broken language. And I'm from Fort Moore, Jamaica, originally from Kingston. And I speak Jamaican Patois, which I realize is similar to Geechee. Um, it, you know, Patois is a mixture of um french and west um, african spanish and all of that so today we're going to uh use american sayings and say how we would say them in gala and patois uh the first thing uh we're gonna say is how would you say that someone was here like they stopped by or they were here in the day that's how we say it in Patua, in the day. We would say in Gala, Ibenya. Um, we say E a lot referring to a person, not he or she. Just Ibenya. <laughs> okay. Um, Which is um, the Ya, the usage of Ya is, is similar because I said Ya and you said Ya as well. Right. Right? So the second saying is someone who talks a lot. Mm -hmm. Chat no, my chatterbox. Chatterbox. Yeah. Uh, we say emote big. Once again, using e to describe a person. Emote big, meaning big mouth, talk a lot, loud. Yeah. All right. So we use the uh, masculine form uh, to to say a lot of stuff too. Like if you're talking about someone, we use the masculine form. Um. So, but we say um, him most of, most of the time we say him. Okay. All right. So talk about about um, feminine and masculine, and but your big is kind of different from our big because if some, if we say somebody more big, it just means that they're more loud. Oh, okay. It kind of means both for ours. Okay. Okay. A person who thinks very highly of themselves. Them itty tighty or them full of themselves. <laughs> itty tighty? <laughs> yeah. Or, I've never heard of that before. Um, we would say, once again, using E, he think he all that. Okay. So instead of sh saying she thinks she's all of that, we would say he think he all that. All right. He think he all that. He think he all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Let's say, how would you say, um, someone who is untruthful? Ah, uh, they're a liar. A liar? Yeah, liar. Instead, instead of saying liar, um, liar. Okay. Emphasis. We would say, that's we might say. So, you know, a person says something, you know, them to be a liar. And like, they tell you something, you're like, mm, that's we might say. You know, you wouldn't say that to the person, but. When talking to another person, that's uh -huh. what you would say. It's like uh, a basically a quote to say okay, the person not telling the truth. Right, right. right. Their mouth is just running. That's it. Um, we, we would say something similar to that if we um we don't want to say somebody say something to like let's say multi tongue tongue say you know. Okay, multi tongue <laughs> say. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you might say. Okay. All right. Kind of similar. Yeah. Um. Let's say that you are amazed by something, like something mm -hmm. just amazing happens. What do you say? That's a clear. Kuya? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of similar to what we say. You say kuya. We say kure. That's what we say. But if you hold the kure and you drag it out like kure, the longer you drag it out, that means... <laughs> The more amazing the thing yeah, is. So yeah, we said that as a kid and somebody would come people would come running. They would hear you go, cool ray. Everybody yeah, come running and see what's going on, what's going on. So okay. Um uh like let's just say someone says they want to fight. Mm, it depends. Mm, you said different things when you want to fight. What would you say? Uh let's just say 
I have an issue with someone. I said, I box in your moat. <laughs> box. <laughs> we say box. Box you in your mouth. Oh, and boxing mean that. Yeah, fist. But sorry, so their fist means our box. it's our thump. Because when we say we're going to um box someone, we slap them. But if we're going to actually use our fist on them, we we we'll thump them. So you box someone by slapping them. Yeah. If you ever seen a boxing match, their hands are balled <laughs> up like this. That's boxing, not this. Okay. Yeah, so we're opposites when go on to that part. Okay. Well, those are some of the uh, similarities and differences between Gela and Patois. And we're going to do um, quite a few more videos to uh, see the similarities and yeah. the differences. Uh -huh. It's actually exciting having a Jamaican wife sometimes and hearing her say things. And I'm just like, what <laughs> like what does that mean like but we hope you guys enjoy the video and go over to wetalawa.com uh -uh. and check out the latest merch yeah. bags shirts hats jewelry everything. Really, yeah, man. all right when we're out we're out peace <laughs> later <laughs>